everyone, so today I'm going to be doing my November favourites and I think it's going to be a bit of a short and sweet one today because I'm not feeling very well and I'm trying to keep my voice together just for this video. So to start off with, I have been trying to introduce a toner into my routine. I was kind of using a, a Clinique one for a little bit which was kind of working but kind of not working for my skin so I ditched that. Um, and now I have moved on to one from Clarins and it's their Gentle Exfoliating Toner. This is one that I bought quite a while ago now and I featured it in a haul and then never really kind of featured it again because I just didn't feel like it was working for me but at the moment I've actually really noticed a difference and I did a whole post on my blog uh, which I'll link below on kind of like tackling breakouts. We really find that this ha kind of helps to soothe redness and it kind of helps just to control breakouts which is the most bizarre thing so I don't think that's what it's really aimed at doing at all but especially on the redness front my skin is just far less red so spots aren't as visible which is amazing and I've just really been enjoying using it. The one thing that does bug me is that um, because of the ingredients in it you have to wear SPF it makes you your skin because it makes your skin more sensitive to the sun, which is a bit of a pain because I hate having to wear SPF on a daily basis. If I don't have to do it, I won't. And the second product has been helping out with my eczema that I get on my face. Um, whenever the autumn weather changes to kind of more winter weather, I always get um, eczema on my face. And this year I've had it um, in the crease of my eye, which I had last year as well, but I've also got it on the corner of this eye as well and along my jawline, which is super fun. Um, but the one thing that's been helping is the Origins Drink Up Intensive Mask. And I use this normally anyway, but I've actually been using it a lot more religiously. I've been using it during the day. I've found that it's really helped, especially around my eyes, and I've been putting it along my jawline as well. And that standard moisturizers just are not helping, and this has actually been really helpful in kind of stopping um, like especially the redness, that's been really bad. And for my eyes, it's just completely calmed them down. I am actually back to wearing eye makeup, which is just amazing. This is one of my all time favorite products anyway, but for this month, it's just been so super helpful. I've even decanted it into a little pot so that I can take it to work with me and put it on my face. I just have been absolutely loving it. And the final item for skincare is this kind of starter trial set from Pi. It's just a little box that comes with um, six samples. I think you get a cleanser, um, three moisturisers for different um, skin types and an uh, exfoliator and something else, can't remember. And I've done a whole post on that on my blog so I will link that up below for you as well. It's just been amazing trying out new products and I've actually got a list of new pie products that I'm going to order. So those are like top of my list of things to buy this month. I'm going to buy the cleanser and they're like rose hip and chamomile gentle hydrating cleanser I think it's called um, and their sensitive skin evening moisturiser as well um, <clears throat> I'm going to be buying both of those I just think they're amazing and I've also got my eye on the oil as well um, but I'm trying to use up the ones I already own first. Next up is hair care and you might have noticed that things have been very very hair related on the blog for the past week if you haven't um, then you might have noticed even on the YouTube channel the past two videos have been hair care ones that is because it's been hair week which is just my life for the past week has just revolved around all things hair or my blog life anyway my actual life has just revolved around me being sick which is pretty sad but anyway I've been loving the L'Oreal Everish shampoos and conditioners I think they're amazing I've gone into them in kind of more detail on my blog and in my last few videos so go and check those out if you kind of want to hear more about them but they are really great for kind of dry fine hair super like nourishing um, but without weighing the hair down like my hair is still like really nice and light and fluffy which I love the next hair product is the Aribe Maximista thickening spray I have been loving this this month it, I just spritz it through my hair after I wash it and just before I'm about to blow dry it and it just makes my hair so full and thick it's amazing and it smells gorgeous and it's not one of those smells that just smells nice when you apply it you can smell it kind of for days after you've washed it, which I love. It's just that really typical kind of, oh, I'm, I'm not saying it right, it's Orbe, I always say it wrong, um, but it's that really typical Orbe smell. It just smells beautiful. It reminds me of something I had as a kid, but I can't put my finger on what it is. But anyway, it's kind of pricey, pretty pricey, but I definitely recommend it. It's one of the best thickening sprays I've used. Um, if you're looking for a cheap alternative, then the Bumble and Bumble Thickening Mousse is also one to go for. Now onto makeup, and I've recently really wanted to um, kind of update my MAC quads that I own. I kind of only owned one, and I wanted a lot more palettes, and um, I was kind of going to go for a 15 pan thing. Oh, I can't words are escaping me today um but yeah i was gonna go for like a 15 slot palette at mac and then i decided to just go for a series of quads because they're so much easier to travel with um, and i updated one of mine and got a new quad and it's just been my favorite this month 
I have got Grain, Amber Lights, Charcoal Brown and Smut and they are just kind of like my, this is my go-to palette. I just find that there is something for everything, like if I wanted to do kind of like a goldy smoky eye I could and if I wanted to go super dark and smoky then I can and if I just want like a light wash um, of something really neutral then Grain and Charcoal Brown are just perfect like everyday um, eyeshadows so I've really been loving this. The next product is the Guerlain Terracotta Moisturising and Long Lasting Bronzing this Powder. It's like the best smelling bronzer I think I've ever used for the first thing. I can't believe bronzers can actually smell this nice, it's really weird. Um, and it's also just a beautiful bronzer, it's got a tiny hint of shimmer but nothing that's actually overly noticeable on the skin but it just does an amazing job of really warming up my face and just making me look a lot healthier which whilst I've been sick I have actually been loving because I look like a zombie right now without the makeup. I've been loving this this month, I just think it's beautiful. Next up is the NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in Red Square, which is just a beautiful kind of orangey red, which I love. I love all year round, and the crayon just applies so well. It really is quite velvety when you apply it. It's slightly creamy, but still dries matte, but it's not too matte, so it doesn't dry your lips out. I just think that it's kind of like the perfect matte lip pencil. I definitely recommend picking one of these up. They're pricey, but so, so worth it. Especially, Especially if you get a colour that you know that you're going to wear all the time. I think it's so worth picking one of these up. I love this, and I've actually been wearing it to work because it's so long-lasting that I can actually go a whole day without actually really needing to retouch it. You kind of sometimes need to do a little bit um, around the centre of your lip, but apart from that, it lasts so long, it's so worth it. And finally, I've been loving the Clinique A Different Nail Enamel in Black Honey. This is beautiful. They have a whole range on Black Honey, which I need in my life, but I've started off just with this nail polish. It's a really dark, kind of purpley, ready colour. It's just beautiful. It's so long lasting on the nails, which I love, and has a really lovely, kind of shiny finish. It's just been perfect for autumn, winter, and I've been wearing it kind of non stop until this weekend when I decided to go. Um, a bit green with my nails. I've got Topshop's Green Room on today, but for the most part, I've been wearing this or the Nail Zinc um, navy blue colour all the time. I just think that they are kind of perfect autumn colours. So that is it for my November favourites. I hope you liked it. Let me know what your favourites have been for this month in the comments, and I will see you guys next week. Bye!